Hey everyone, welcome to this channel. In this session, we will talk about the data analytics for IoT system. Uh, what is a uh, first of all? What is a uh, IoT system? And then how? What is a uh, data? How can you perform analytics on data? That means we will talk about this information now. Here, data analytics for IoT system. In this session, you have a uh, introduction to the data analytics for IoT system. After that. You will know about the Hadoop file system, and then Hadoop map reduce for the batch data analysis, and uh, Apache UZ, and then F and uh, case studies. Now introduction to the data analytics for the IoT. First of all, in the previous session, previous classes, you discussed about the Internet of Things. What is how can you represent the Internet of Things? Internet of Thing is a interconnection of several devices the device in this case the devices may be a raspberry pi arduino you will use different kind of uh, devices and then not only devices the devices may be raspberry pi arduino and then activators sensors that means activators and then sensor linked to the uh, these devices and then some of the networks and then some of the technologies and human resources to achieve a, a common goal. Here, for example, the goal, how can you represent the goal? For example, goal may be, for example, home automation system, the goal, the purpose, what is the purpose of home automation system? Identify, that means monitoring the, or monitoring the light level, light level in a room. That is a one goal. In case of smart cities, in the smart cities, identifying the vacant, that means in the smart parking application, identifying the vacant places. Like that, you have a goal. That means for achieving the common goal, it is a different devices. And then coming to the data analytics, how can you represent the data analytics? That means the data analytics the process of extracting the large amount of data and then um, getting a mean, meaningful information. That means the meaningful information is called as a, to extract the meaningful insights. That is called here data analytics. The process which is used to examine the big data and small data set with varying data properties to extract the meaningful insights. That's called here data analytics. The conclusions are in the form. That means you will get the insights, trends, pattern, statistics that, that help the business organization in a, engaging with the data to implement the effective decision making process. This is a simple information about the data analytics. The data analytics means processing the processing the data. How can you process the particular data? For the IoT system. Here, the big data, collecting, organizing, analyzing the large data sets. That's called here. That means large data sets in the sense of big data. Collecting data analytics are going to represent process of collecting, organizing, analyzing the big data to discover the pattern, to describe the pattern and other useful information. The useful information may be knowledge. The analytics works with the big data. One, the, that means it is a some big data related information means large amount of data. That big data may be terabytes of data. In case of, that means it depends upon a different views. Velocity, veracity, like that different views. The next important one, some of the examples examples of big data generated by the IoT systems. The big data generated by different IoT systems, some of the examples. For example, weather monitoring station. In particular, weather monitoring station, sensor data generated by the IoT system, such as weather monitoring station. Other one is the industrial energy systems. What is the industrial energy system? In this case, machine sensors data collected from the sensor embedded in a industry and energy system for monitoring their health and detecting the failures. 
and some of the other example health and fitness data here how can you get the that means our this data getting by using some of the wearable devices here health and fitness data generated by the iot devices such as a wearable and then data generated by the iot system for location and tracking of vehicle system here sometimes so for tracking the vehicle system you will use a that means the data you will generate the data generated by the retail inventory monitoring system these are all some of the iot system generated by the big data here the big data analytics some of the characteristics for the big data here how can you say a data data is there how can you say this data is a big data because based on these factors based on value volume variety and then velocity for example volume how can you represent the volume here it's based on the size of the data for example the size of the data is a very large this may be petabytes of data terabytes of data the such kind of data you got as a big data for the system the quantity of generated and stored data the size of the data determine the value and potential insights whether it can be considered big data or not that means based on the quantity you are representing the big data for example petabytes of data terabytes of data jettabytes of data like that based on the volume and then based on the variety we call it as a big data the type and nature of the data this help the people who analyze it to use the resulting insight here in this case big data draws from the text images audio and video for example some of the text of pdf file documentation file which is very difficult to process for example images processing the images takes a lot of time for that one for the our system the processing images also a big data audio data video data these are all called as a variety of data and then velocity velocity indicate the speed that means it's not getting the required speed in this context the speed at which data is generated and processed to meet the demands and challenges that lie in a path of the growth and development that indicates the velocity of big data for example in this case i am taking a, a simple example what is the simple example detect the forest fire forest fire in a early stage to take action while fire fire is uh, still controllable that means in the pre, in the video 8 you discussed about the different levels here for the forest fire detection system is a level 5 that means you have a six different kinds of deployment levels are there one is a level 1 level 2 level 3 up to level 6 in, in previously we discussed those levels the level 1 that means entire the storage is a local and application is a local based application level 2 that means for the data size is large data for that purposes you are using the big data and this is a level 5 system in this level 5 system you will identify the in the level 1 level 2 level 3 single device is there single device attached to a different sensor but here from the level 4 to level 6 you will use a multiple devices device 1 device 2 device 3 that means i am taking the different devices the resource is a software component the control over services are there and then rest or web based services application and then database here in this case the extra information compared to the level 4 in this case you will use a observe one observer node and then one coordinator device it these are all different things two important things you vary it from the level 4 and level 5 here you will use a coordinator device here what is a coordinator device here in the system has a multiple end nodes and one coordinator device the end the end nodes that perform a sensing and activation this perform in way because for the for example let us take the device you call it as a how can you represent the raspberry pi i am taking for the raspberry pi we will attach in the different sensors 
the coordinator node here how can you represent the coordinator node the coordinator node collects the data from the end node and sends to the cloud uh, collecting the data from the end node and then co collecting the cloud and then coming to the data stored analyzed in the cloud and uh, application is a cloud based application this is called here level 5 in this system suitable for the wireless sensor network in which the big data the data involved is a big and analysis requirements are computationally in intensive this is called here big data related information i think is it clear and then it is a level to similar to that one but uh, multiple sensors at the faster rate simultaneously here data collected and uh, data analysis is performed at the cloud level based on here cloud level we will perform the data based on the analysis and control action is performed using the mobile application and <coughs> web application that is a simple information for example detecting the fire in a early stage to take action while fire is still controllable sorry that is a that means in this case the sensor measure the temperature smoke weather slope of the earth wind speed and then speed of the fire spread and flame length that means for this purposes you will use a different sensors for example i am getting the from the level five i am getting the data like this that means not as a two rows you will be having the millions of rows are there millions of data every second it will generate in the millions of data this is a data and then the, in this particular case this table shows the the data collected for the fire detection system for uh, detecting the early stages for fire you will take the data and then each row shows the time stamp readings of the temperature here in each and every row the time stamp readings of a temperature the time stamp reading of humidity and then light and carbon dioxide is no no CO. this data can help in a develop developing prediction models here for predicting the model you will use for this one the semantic diagram for this one and then for references this, this is a references for this one this is in the next session we will talk about the uh, apache hadoop why have apache hadoop here the iot system generating the large amount of data every time the sensor for processing large amount of data for storing large amount of data the it is a the free free tool here is a hadoop file system thank you